Hello friends, let me tell you about a big mistake that non-thinking, unwise people make in the hopes that it will save some of you from a world of hurt and regret and pain mentally and financially and physically. So, uh, you're a man in your um, 40s, 50s, whatever, and um, gave up on the, on these uh, feminine, unpleasant, unfriendly, uh, in-your-face, uh, uh, high-expectation women of the West, and you head to the East, you go to um, overseas, South America, Asia, Africa, some people go to Africa, in Europe, many go to Northern, Western Africa, and uh, you are uh, floored by the reception you get from uh, women that are much younger than you, much more sweet than you. Uh, they are uh, appearing subservient. They're appearing friendly. They're giving you anything you want, daytime and nighttime. And they just seem uh, like a gift from God. They seem perfect. Uh, mostly it is because uh, the women in these countries don't have the uh, uh, financial opportunities, economic opportunities that women have uh, in the West. Uh, but uh, that's another uh, story because it's not just that. Women in the West also have lost. When I say West, I mean especially United States, Canada, parts of Western Europe. Thank God, not all of Western Europe. And in my future videos, I'll tell you what parts of Western Europe and what parts are better. But women in the West have lost touch with fem being feminine and, and being um, all the, possessing all the feminine qualities that appeals to a normal man, heterosexual man. Heterosexual, I say, because I have no experience in, in homosexual and I have no, no knowledge and I'm not gonna, even going to go there. I'm talking in these videos only about heterosexual relationships. So, back to the, what I was talking about, you get, um, you're floored, you love it. You say, this is heaven. I got a woman here that are sweet to me. I've got my pick of the litter. They're younger. They're subservient. They do whatever I want and everything. And, uh, you know, um, you enjoy them during your trip. And then you say goodbye and go back to your own country. Then you fall in love with the idea. You do it again and again and again. And then suddenly a light goes on in your head and you say, well, this is so great. Why don't I just befriend one of them, get serious with them, uh, marry them, and then bring them back to my own country in the West, bring them back to Germany, bring them back to US, bring them back to Canada, England, Ireland, etc., etc., etc. Well, don't. Do not. Do not do that. That is a big mistake with a capital B and a capital I and followed by 10 capital G's in red color. You cannot make a bigger mistake in life than this. These women that you bring from the East to the West, they will go through a transformation faster than you can say, what's the best lawyer available? They will become much worse than the women that you escaped from because it's like bringing a kid to a toy store and telling them, you know, this is a, a blank check, choose whatever toy you want. They will quickly befriend uh, and find and befriend others that are from the same country that they are. And they will quickly learn that they have a power now that they did not have in their own country. You see, when you meet them in their own country, you have the power. They know that if they misbehave, you could drop them like you dropped yesterday's newspaper and there'll be 110 others in line dying to go out with you. But when you bring them here, you will lose not some, not most, you will lose all of your power. Now they have all of the power. They will, and, and you know, the women in the West compared to their counterparts, the women in the West are born and raised with these opportunities. But these women, they have, they're suddenly given a brand new uh, opportunity. It's like, it's like giving, a, you know, someone who has no money suddenly a, a, a check, you know, a cash, cash for $500,000, you know, and, uh, you know, they go, they go wild and these women will go wild on you. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. Now, when I say these things, there's always some schmuck and says, oh, I went over there and I married one and, and we've been together for the past 15 years and, and everything's going great. Your advice is wrong. Well, 
these people, first of all, they're doing whatever she wants without even knowing it. Secondly, these people are like an exception. It's like selling your house and cashing in every penny you have and buying a lottery ticket and winning it. The odds of that happening is equal to the odds of you bringing a woman from these countries to the West and having uh, what this uh, one schmuck has, thinks he has, thinks he has uh, in the West. So if you like the odds of selling your house and everything you own and buying lottery tickets in the hope of winning one, then go right ahead. Go to these countries, marry one of these women and bring them back to the West and thinking they're going to be exactly like they were where you met them in their own country on their own turf. I make this video as a warning. Consider it a big red light flashing, a warning sign of not making this mistake, not doing it. Many of you who have done it, you know what I'm talking about. And many of you who are thinking about it, well, don't. Don't. Remember, the wise learn from the mistakes of others while fools insist on making their own. All the best.